Hello everyone, it's Justin here from Animal Crossing World. Here today with a little bit of a special holiday Thanksgiving video. I thought it'd be fun to uh, pop in for the holidays and check out Animal Crossing on the GameCube. And in particular, I want to check out the Harvest Festival event in this game. Uh, unlike the version on Animal Crossing New Leaf, this one's a little bit different. So it should be fun to check it out, see what it's like. It's been a long time since I've played this event. I've probably only played it once um, when I first played Animal Crossing on the GameCube so many years back. So it should be fun to pop in here and uh, see what it's like. See what the differences are. It's, it's always a it's always a treasure coming in here and checking out what it's like to play the original. So we're gonna start off by heading over to the Wishing Well, which is where we will find all the festivities and all that good stuff. As you can see, there's a number of weeds here. Um, just, just don't look at those. Don't, don't worry about them. They're not important. It's down here, yes. Pluck a few of them though. I mean, it's fun plugging them. You just, you just can't help it sometimes. Ah, uh, yes, we can hear the noises if we get close. Here are the festivities today. Our boy Tortimer here. It's nice seeing him here. Where he belongs, not on some island. Oh, I think our pockets are probably gonna be... Yeah, okay, oops. Leftover presents. All right, let's take care of our pockets here first. Uh, yeah, let's just... Do that. That's probably going to be the easiest way to take care of things here. We need a few slots for this event, so let's eat a few more apples. There we go. Maybe, uh, can we eat the candy? Get that out of the way, too. Alright. Alright, so let's see what Tortimer's has got for us. Probably a model, I'm guessing. He's a big fan of those in this game. Oh, a cornucopia. That makes lots of sense. So, we've got all the villagers hanging out here, having their fun. But where is Franklin? Because, just like in New Leaf, Franklin is, of course, the star of this event. Now, if I recall correctly, we've got a, he's hiding somewhere because there's these knives and forks here. He's not a fan of them. So, I believe we pick these up. Just why I need space. And then we've got to go hunt down our boy Franklin. Uh, so he can see that I've stolen the knives and forks and there's, there's no need to worry that he's going to end up on the table tonight. So I believe he hides behind a tree or the museum if I remember right. So let's check behind here. Nothing here. So we'll look around for a little bit but I might have to cut the video if it takes us too long to find him. But I'll put a good effort first here. This will act as a little bit of a tour of the town as well. I love on the 7 p.m. music. Where is that boy at? Behind the house. I don't know if he can actually go behind the house, but you know, I just can't be too sure. Also doing a very inefficient job here of uh Oh the one here's one of the ball oh, those are always fun. But that's a distraction, it's not it's not our purpose. Oh, I've got one of the gold trees growing, that's neat. Um hopefully I don't go by him. If I go by him here and don't seem like an idiot, uh feel free to call me out in the comments of a timestamp. Because I will deserve it. Uh, we love Little Island here. It's always a fun little special feature that you can get in the GameCube game. It's a tiny little thing here. I mean, I guess it's kind of understandable given that I am running around with a pair of knives and forks in my hands. In my pockets, rather. So, I mean, I guess it's fair that he's a little bit afraid. Okay, we've almost been everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, but also fortunately, Animal Crossing on the GameCube here has a very large map, as you can see, so I'm a big fan of it. But, you know, when you're trying to hunt down a uh, turkey, 
and he just won't show up, it can be a bit of a problem. Alright, I'm gonna try to get a lifeline here. I feel like it's possible that talking to the villagers will actually give you a hint, but I don't know, I might be wrong there. Maybe not these ones, maybe they've gotta be in their own spot somewhere. I feel like that was the thing, like maybe they'll give me like an acre number or something, because I mean, I need some help here. I am, I'm struggling. This is just getting sad at this point. All right, maybe she's got some, oh, oh, there we go. This is what I was looking for. All right, there's my hint. Okay, acre free. Wait, she doesn't mean the picture, I oh, really hope she doesn't mean the picture book from three million years ago. I'm really hoping that that means Franklin. Let's just do a real good scout of acre, the three acres. So that would be, oops, that'd be this, these ones here. So let's just be absolutely sure we've got everything covered here. Sneaky turkeys. Anything here? No. Okay. No. Alright. It's looking pretty clear so far. Okay, you never be too sure, alright? All right, here's the other section of three acres. No, it has to be this section here, so no one past the border here. Really? Oh my god! Jesus. They actually kind of spooked me. I didn't actually know we could hide there. All right. All right, we finally found him. I'd never hurt you, Franklin. <laughs> uh, I love this kind of humor that the original games have. They really leaned into this all the way. Alright, I've got those for you, Franklin. Yes, I did. I know what I'm doing. I got them. You didn't even have to ask me. I already had them for you. So I believe he'll give me a harvest item. Harvest rug, okay. Yeah, so that's actually pretty much the essence of the event, Ashley. You basically find him, get an item, and repeat. Um, well, we'll look for him at least one more time. So I think once I leave this acre, he should disappear. Let's just check back. Yep, he's gone like the wind. So let's go and... I think we gotta pick up the knives and fork. One more time. Let's see if we can get another item. Yes, those crafty villagers. They put those right back there. Just gonna sneak those away. And if I can save us some trouble this time, can I find a villager to give us the info right away so I don't run around like a complete idiot? You got any help here, Anchovy? No, you, you still know nothing. You were useless before, and you remain useless. Completely useless. Completely, utterly useless. Okay. Patty, help me out again. No. No, it's really not that cool. No. 
No, it's okay. It's all right, Patty. I. It's okay. It's okay. I don't. I. I know. I'm. I'm. I don't need new friends. Maybe. Anyway, so while we go looking around here forever because I'm incapable of playing this game, uh, I just want to share a little fun fact actually about this event in this game. Um, so as many of you probably already know, this game we're playing on the GameCube is actually mostly just an enhanced port of the original Animal Forest, only released in Japan on the N64. Um, but oh, oh, there he is! Now, I believe we give repeat, so hopefully it doesn't give me a second rug. Harvest clock, not bad. That's you know, respectable. Let's try doing one more time, because I can probably- maybe she'll give me a hint for the third go at it. And then I'll finish my little fun fact, because I kind of got interrupted. Oh, okay, summer in three again, that is perfect. Alright, we'll do one more and then wrap up the video. But anyway, yeah, so as I was saying, um, so since this is an enhanced port of the Japanese version, there were a few things that were added, and this event is actually one of the major new additions they made for the American release, because obviously Thanksgiving is a very American, Canadian-centric holiday. It's not really much of a thing in Japan. Um, or at least not to the extent that they would need to feel they need to put in an entire event for it. So this is actually kind of an exclusive to the uh, American re-release of this game. It wasn't in the Japanese version originally. Of course, it has remained in the uh, game since, though. Including the Japanese ones. So, picked up the knife and fork. Just gotta find him in three again. Which is, alright, one more over. So it could be anywhere here, lurking. Lurking like a turkey. He wouldn't, no, he wouldn't do that again. He wouldn't, he's not that. No, he, he knows what he's doing. Put a few more weeds, you know, just, you know, it's just, it's the right thing to do. I think down here would be the only acre left, but I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Oh, there he is. Gotcha. Tools of destruction. <laughs> Very true. A harvest bed. All right, not bad. So we've got a harvest rug, a harvest bed, and a harvest clock. Alright, I think that's going to be good enough. You guys get the idea. This is basically what the Harvest Festival event is like, you know, I'm crossing for GameCube. I believe it's very similar in City Folk on the Wii as well, but as you know, in New Leaf they change it up quite a bit. To be honest, the New Leaf version is probably better, but it's fun to see the classic versions of these events. So let's take a look at my side of my house here. Uh, let's see if I can catch one of these. Oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Alright, there's one. Animal Crossing tradition, you know, you gotta get them. Alright. So we've actually got space here to drop my items, see how they look in this version. Not bad. Respectable items. You know, definitely respectable. Oh, no. Back here. Okay. And then we'll just... Oh, God. How do I, how do I do... There we go. There's our bed. Oh, and I've got the rug as well. Let's pull that out too. Not bad. So that is official. I think that basically just wraps up our little peek at the Harvest Festival event in Animal Crossing for the GameCube. Really hope you guys enjoyed this little holiday special edition video. Uh, and it was a little bit of a little bit of disaster at some points. I'm still kind of getting trying to get back into the swing of making videos again. It's been quite a few years since I actively did this, so I'm a bit out of practice, but. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you enjoy this little look back at Harvest Festival, then I'd really appreciate it if you gave the video a like. Um, and of course, uh, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more Animal Crossing content leading up to Animal Crossing New Horizons, as I'll be doing lots of coverage on that soon as we get closer. Uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, have a great Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye-bye.